guys, my name's Tori. For those of you who don't know me, this is my Wizard of Oz collection vlog. How are y'all doing? Time to get real and get a little raw. So I've talked a little bit before about, you know, living life as Dorothy would and asking yourself what Dorothy would do. And I had another one of those moments recently because I lost my job. And that's, it's the first time I've ever lost a job. So I... It kind of hit me pretty hard. But one of the things that I know I can always turn to for comfort is the Wizard of Oz. So I haven't purchased anything since I lost my job for obvious reasons. But a few things had already been ordered when I did. So let's get into that. Uh, the first thing I wanted to show you guys, the Hallmark Stackable Tin Boxes. These are really cute. I love the way they look. They have these great designs for each of the characters and they're stackable. And so you've got the diploma on the back of the scarecrow, you've got the clock heart and the medal of courage. And I love the way they display and they are tin boxes. You can open them and store things inside should you choose to. I just love the way they look. I think they're really stylish and they're not uh, total space eaters. So you gotta love that. The next thing is a little bit of a childhood wish fulfillment. It is the Barbie porcelain Dorothy. And I absolutely love her. She's so pretty. And I remember seeing her in a toy catalog when I was little and just wishing so much that I could have her. But of course, I had no means by which to buy her. I was young at the time and my parents didn't want to get me a glass doll. Good choice, mom and dad. You always know what's right. <laughs> but she's here now, so yay! Also, got my hands on Glinda from the Couture de Force collection. And just like Dorothy, she has so much movement to her. She's absolutely stunning. I just love the way these things look. They're fabulous. I mean, the way the dress looks. I mean, and well, look at the way they display together. Now all I have to do is find the witch, and that set is complete. I also got my hands on something really, really unique, which I mentioned in the live last live show that I did. Just gonna open the cabinet here to get it. It's up here. It is the 1903 W.W. Denslow Pictures from the Wonderful Wizard of Oz. It's very delicate and old. It's missing a few pages. This is something that in brand new condition auctions in the thousand dollar range, but because it's in rough condition, got it for very, very cheap. If anybody knows of anyone who is good at restoring books like these, Please let me know their information. I would really love to get this professionally restored at some point. So I'm going to end it there for tonight as we tuck this one back to bed. Just want to let you guys know there is a live show tomorrow evening hosted by the International Wizard of Oz Club at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. We will be live viewing Return to Oz together. And that comes from the poll that we did on the Oz Vlog page. This is going to be done every first and third Thursday of the month. And this time, Return to Oz was the winner. So please come and join us. We're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna live react to the movie and talk about what we know about it. We did The Wizard of Oz, the 1939 film last time. So please go and check that out if you haven't seen it already. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. On to better things, right? Keep following that yellow brick road. Love you guys. Bye.